have I left an arc on, a mark on Iowa? I don't know. But Iowa certainly has been an important part of my uh, filmography. I've uh, made a lot of music in Iowa. Two of the songs we sing actually invoke the name Iowa. So it's, it's had an effect on me. It was an unusual success story. And I think if anybody takes anything from it, you can have a great success story in your own life. You know, um, there's a thing called conventional wisdom. And everybody thinks about conventional wisdom. But there's one thing that a lot of people don't think about, which might inform them about their own ideas, their own life, which is what if everybody's wrong? And everybody was wrong about Field of Dreams except the people that made it. To me, it represented a, a magical story about, um, you know, listening to a voice that maybe you don't want to listen to and, and having a kind of wife that backs you up. And, and um, it was just, it, was, it was, had beautiful architecture as a movie. Uh, you know, it was a movie that was made for under $10 million. Um, and yet, you know, 25 years later, there's going to be 7,000 people coming from all over the country to sit and watch a movie that speaks out loud to them about the, the things of, between father and son that seem to go unsaid. You don't want to go through life and, and wish you had played catch. That's the metaphor, playing catch. Um, and so America took ownership of this movie.